Hello, uh, I thought I'd do a video about the recordings uh, of the former Hanoi Rocks members uh, outside of Hanoi Rocks. So let's start with the original drummer Chip Casino. Uh, this is uh, Rollin with Rollin, and uh, Chip Casino is uh, here. Uh, he doesn't play drums on this one, uh, he plays uh, guitar here. Uh, uh, I'm guessing that they were trying to be like the uh, mid-80s uh, heavy metal bands, but from that point of view, this is uh, a failure. Uh, a not very good one, but as a pop rock album, uh, this is uh, an okay, uh, not a great one, but an okay album. Uh, and I also know that he was a member of the band called Road Rats, uh, which released at least one single. Outside of that, I have very little knowledge uh, except for one thing, and I hopefully remember to come back to that one later on. Uh, this one here is the band's lead singer, Colin Blomqvist, uh, from who we get to the next member. And the next one is Sam Jaffa. This is Sam Jaffa and Belle Almgren. Uh, this is a four track EP. And uh, this is absolutely wonderful. I really love this one. Uh, I consider this one to be one of the very best uh, ex Hanorox members recordings of all time to, to this day. Uh, again, these uh, songs uh, don't sound very uh, hard rock, but the song quality here is uh, absolutely great. I love all of the songs on this one. Uh, and I have to mention that one of the songs here is Last Train to Clarksville, uh, which is a uh, monkey's cover, of, obviously. Um, uh, after this one, what I know he, he has done, uh, he has been a member of uh, Jet Boy, which was a mid 80s uh, hair metal band. And uh, also later on, he was a member of uh, John Jet's Black Hearts and New York Dolls. <laughs> But I don't consider those to be the uh, same way uh, to be his bands because uh, those bands had been formed before and he was later on asked to become a member of those groups. Uh, but this one here is his. This is Mad Juana, Skin of My Thief. This is uh, their first album. Uh, that's Sam Jaffa and his future wife, Carmen Guy. Uh, they weren't married at this point. Uh, to me, this album uh, sounds uh, very similar to P.J. Harvey's um, To Bring You My Love. So uh, I, I think that that uh, is a good reference point to this one. Uh, I know that they have made at least two albums after this one, uh, but I believe that those albums are far more uh, world music orientated than this one. Uh, okay, let's take a step backwards at this point and go back to the beginning. This is Pelle Miljona Oy, Motorite on Kuuma, the most legendary punk album in Finland. Uh, however, uh, it has to be said that uh, to people from other countries, this is far more of a um, new wave album than a punk album. Um, this one here, Olen Kaunis. Uh, uh, was uh, Sam Jaffa's very first recording, uh, although on this album it's a re-recorded version, uh, but the singular version of that one is uh, Sam Jaffa's very first uh, recording. Uh, that's Andy McCoy here and Sam Jaffa. They left this band uh, to uh, form Hanoi Rocks. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next member, uh, which is uh, Andy McCoy. Uh, after the breakup of uh, Hanoi Rocks, Andy McCoy, uh, Nasty Suicide, and uh, Terry Chimes, who was a drummer on the very last uh, part of uh, Hanoi Rocks. Uh, Terry Chimes was the drummer then. Uh, they formed Jerry Bombs, and this is the debut EP. This is five track EP. Uh, considering uh, Hanoi Rocks, this is uh, definitely a step towards uh, uh, hard rock or heavy rock, if you like. Uh, I like this very much. I think this is a very good one. Uh, but, uh, however, at the time when I bought this one, uh, I bought this somewhere in the late 80s, uh, it did take me a while before I got to like this one. But these days I like this very much. 
uh, after the uh, EP, uh, Andy and Nasty made a side step and they formed Suicide Twins, Silver Missiles and Nightingales. Uh, this one is uh, mostly an acoustic album. There are uh, the sound is very much dominated by two acoustic guitars, but there are like violin and harmonica and piano, uh, some percussion here. Uh, but it's very much an acoustic sounding album. And uh, it's worth mentioning that the uh, Nasty Suicide, uh, despite the name Suicide Twins, uh, is uh, goes by the name of Nasty Superstar here. Uh, this is a good album. Uh, I do like this, but I would say that this is um, uneven. There are great songs like the title track, uh, but then there are some that, that aren't very good. Uh, uh, some of them are, let's say, merely okay. So this is an uneven album, but I do like this one, however. Um, next up, they came back uh, to Sherry Bombs and they released this three track uh, single. This is House of Ecstasy. And I consider this one to be the single best song of any former Hanoros members have ever made. Uh, I love this one. This is this, uh, and I mean this version especially, is absolutely wonderful. Um, however, soon after that one, uh, the band broke up uh, because of their uh, internal problems led to, to the breakup. Uh, this one was released the following year, and by that time the band had already broken up. Uh, Andy McCoy, when this was released, Andy McCoy told people not to buy this because this wasn't very good. Uh, but the sound quality here, uh, uh, I would say that the downside here is that the sound quality is not uh, an excellent. Uh, it's an, uh, I would say that it's a good sounding, not, uh, but not in any sense a great sounding album. Uh, far better than some uh, uh, bootleg recording. Uh, but it could be better sounding on this one. Uh, however, the playing here I think is very good. Uh, I, I like this album, uh, except for the last one, the uh, CCR cover, Traveling Band, uh, where it sounds like uh, everybody's playing a, a different song. <laughs> but, but other than that, I do like this one. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a good live album. Uh, the reason why Andy said wasn't crazy about this was because they had made a recording contract, but before they made an album, the band had broken up and they had already spent the advance money. So uh, the recording company had the tapes for, tapes for this one, so they decided to release this one, uh, which also meant that Andy didn't get uh, any royalties from this one. So obviously he wasn't very happy about it. Uh, after the breakup of Sherry Bombs, he made this one, uh, Too Much Ain't Enough, his first actual solo album. Uh, I have to say that this one uh, is not a great album. There's a three, first three songs, uh, I Will Follow, Tell Me a Story, Talking About a Feeling. Uh, those are good songs, uh, but other than that, the, the rest of the songs are merely okay. Uh, not great in any sense. Uh, I would say that this, uh, this is an okay album, but not, not, a, not, not in any way a great album. Uh, but this time Andy's uh, heroin use was uh, in a bad way, so he was mostly uh, absent from the recordings, like himself later on told. And uh, in a way that, that can be found out from the missing credits from this album, there are no uh, credits other than song titles and songwriting credits uh, of anybody playing on this album. I do know that Marit sang backing vocals on a, a few songs on here, but other than that, I, I have no idea who are playing on this album. Uh, Andy himself told that uh, he just uh, did his parts and mostly stayed away from the studio. He just made a, an occasional visit to the studio, so that contributed to the quality of this album. Uh, after that it took several years uh, until in 1992 he released Shooting Gallery. Uh, 
this is not a good album. This uh, the opposite. I, I don't like this album at all. There's one great song, Restless, which uh, opens up this album. Restless is a great song. Uh, and I Miss Around was, uh, uh, let's say, a good so song. But uh, rest of the material here is, uh, uh, I would say, uh, even less than okay. Uh, not, not good ones. Uh, even the, there are covers here. Uh, Don't Never Leave Me, Hano Rock song. House of Ecstasy, Cherry Bones song. Uh, Brown Eyed Girl, One Morrison song. Devil Calling, uh, which was a nasty suicide song. Uh, all of those co covers uh, are awful. Uh, I don't like them at all. Uh, and the rest of the original material also is not good. There's uh, only one good song here, or let's say one great song here. So, uh, no, I, I don't recommend this album at all. Uh, so, that meant that when he released his next solo album, it was a very big surprise that he actually made a very good album, Building on Tradition. Uh, I think this is a very good album. Uh, also, this is a testimony to the studio trickery, because uh, his, uh, Andy is singing on this album, and his singing sounds actually rather good here, uh, when in reality his singing had become, by this point, Awful. Uh, it's a croaking sound like a Bob Dylan on his uh, <laughs> worst days. Uh, but this one, uh, I, I like this album. This is a very good album. Uh, great songs here, uh, like uh, uh, Strung Out, Foxfield Junction, Love and Hate, Dreaming of Japan, Medieval Madras. Uh, very, very good album. Highly unexpected. But very, very good album. Uh, unfortunately, that's the last great album from Andy McCoy. He has uh, done, he made an album with uh, his former bandmate uh, Pete Malmi. They released an album uh, uh, called Andy McCoy, Pete Malmi, Briard. But that album was uh, even worse than. Uh, the shooting gallery album. That one also again included one great song, uh, but the rest of the material was far worse than it is on this one. Uh, no, stay away from that one. Awful album. Uh, but again, let's take a step backwards and see this one. This one is Briard Miss World. Uh, Briard was the uh, what is called as the first Finnish punk band to release a single. Uh, which was I really hate you. Um, but that first uh, uh, period of uh, prior lasted only for four singles. Uh, but on the last single, there's also Nasty Suicide playing. Uh, they broke up in 79, and this album, Miss World, was uh, re recorded in 1983 during the time when Hannah Ross was still active. Uh, so this was a sort of a, they met, decided that weren't we great back then, let's make a record. Uh, and so the actual album that was re recorded in 83, uh, I think it's uh, okay. I would say it's surprisingly good, but again, it's not a great album. And these um, uh, original prior singles here, um, I would say that they are also surprisingly good. They have very much energy, very much drive, uh, but the songwriting quality then itself uh, is uh, is not that great. Um, I do like them, but I, I can't say that they are uh, great in a, uh, in a sense that they could be considering their position in a Finnish uh, punk rock history. Okay, uh, I'll continue on the second part because my time is running out. Okay, see you in part two.